Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at dual mining, iron fish and gram coin. So for the most part, iron fish and gram dual mining is pretty much the most profitable way to GPU mine at the moment. As you can see down there, I think this is because of the new move to the fish hash algorithm and it works extremely well with the gram coin algorithm, which is a variant of SHA-256. So we're going to be showing you how to actually get this mining on your GPU. And then we're going to show you how to calculate profitability and some other intricacies that we can go through. So first thing you want to do is obviously get a ton or a gram wallet. They are under the same kind of umbrella, I believe. And then you obviously want to get an Ironfish wallet. There are tons of videos out there. I'm pretty sure Serpent X Tech has got a video on this. Um, a bunch of other crypto mining YouTubers have got videos on how to download and install the wallet and obviously get a wallet address from there. So go over to their channels, give them some views and get a ton or a gram wallet address that you're obviously going to want to mine to. And then Ironfish as well, same goes for that. So once you have those two wallets, you obviously want to put it into a batch file. So this is a guide for Windows and today we're going to be using LOL Miner. So the latest released is 1.86, but obviously the further releases after that will be okay to mine on this Gram and Ironfish algorithm. So as you can see there, driver compatibility for Fish Hash and Gram. As you can see, NVIDIA 10 series and 16. NVIDIA 20 series, 30 series, 40 series, and then these AMD series as well. So there are also other mix match that you can go with. You can go with Alephium, Carlson, Pirin, Radiant, and then Gram. We're going to have obviously Gram in this video, but it pretty much works out the same way for all of these on how you do this video. So if you just want to replace everything that I do in this video with an Alephium wallet or something like that, then you can do. So once you downloaded LOL Miner, we want to actually come down and we want to look for one of these dual mineable batch files. So this will give us an indication of kind of how we can set up the batch file. If we go into one that's not opened already, we click more info and run anyway. You can see here it requires us to put in this dual mode for the parameters and dual user. And then we obviously enter the mode we want to go into. So what coin we're doing. So this is Carlson dual. But there will be a different one for gram coins, so keep an eye out for that. And then there's extra parameters that we can add on here. So the main way that I would do it is I'd take these, I'd delete out all of this. So we just cut that there. And then we would replace these with either ironfish here or ironfish on the dual mode. Or you can do gram coin here and then gram coin on the dual mode. It really doesn't matter which one or order you put it in. So this is my setup for what I had just mining quickly and just to go through the setup and record some of the footage of us mining. So we have low miner at the start. The first algorithm is fish hash for iron fish. And then we have the pool, which is going to be hero miners today. So we just got our stratum right here. And then if we go over to the user, this is our wallet address and then our worker name. And then it comes over to the dual mode here. So you have to have this put in. Now the dual mode is actually ton dual mode. So this is what you need in not, it's not gram, it's T-O-N and then dual. And then you put in the dual pool, which this is going to be the stratum. Four pools on gram coin. I believe that there's only about three if we look here. So there's icemining.ca, which is in Finland and Germany. So that's going to be closer to me. That's why I'm mining on it. And I haven't actually checked out these two, but gramcoin.org and ton ninja might be a place to go as well. If you go over to icemining.ca, you can see here they have lol miner and then the stratum ton hash rate to 4002. So this is the port. And then the very important thing that you want to add is this dash dash ton dash mode six. So this allows you to get onto the gram system. Now, the only problem that I have with this is there's 30% fees on it, which is extremely high because most of them only charge around 1% for other coins. So we have that input here, as you can see, stratum and then the pool and the port and then the ton mode six. It doesn't really matter where you put this. You can put it at the end of the batch file or you can put it in right here. It doesn't matter. And then obviously the dual user, this is your wallet address for ton coin. And then we just have an extra parameter for the fan whilst we were mining. 
Now, when it comes to overclocking it, we obviously want to have it running as an administrator. But the overclocks, you kind of have to figure it out with dual mining. At any point, you're going to favor one algorithm over the other. So if you wanted to mine more gram, then you could basically overclock it for gram without conflicting with the fish hash algorithm. Or you could overclock it if you wanted more iron fish. It really depends on what you want. I just went with no overclocks for when we were recording this video. But if you do want overclocks, and this is the overclocks that I would use, is on hash rate NO. I would just take this from the hash rate NO page, and then I would probably say you can edit it a little bit, depending on if you want to get more gram or more iron fish, as I said. This says that it gives a performance of 23 mega hash to 1.64 giga hash. So that's kind of what we're doing around and the power reported was 109 watts. We do have our own figures, so we'll cover that later on in the video. But for the most part, we've only got the fans just to basically cool our GPU down whilst we're mining on this. So all you have to do after that is exit and save and then double click the batch file that you set up. So this is just taken from a dual mined file and then we edited a bunch of things through that. Now I will leave the batch file in the description below, just the text, so you guys can kind of go through it and you can just copy and paste it onto your batch file. So I'm going to show you some footage here, obviously we started mining. This is just done on the phone just because we don't really want to record whilst we're also mining. Because this is what I use the rig for, is basically recording, but we can also mine and then get some footage for the video. So as you can see there, we're doing around, you know, 2000 mega hash on ton and then for fish hash we're doing around 20 mega hash so we're going to go through some profitability in a minute if you look on the side here we're pulling around 120 watts or 117 i would say and then the temperatures are actually very high on this with around 60 degrees so i've just got the screenshot up here of what we were mining just then and as you can see right here we have the mega hash for ton this is a sha 256 ton and then fish hash, which is obviously the gram algorithm right here. And then the fish hash with 20 mega hash. We got shares obviously submitted to the pool. So that kind of verifies some of the data in here. Now it doesn't show a power draw here, but it does show it up here on GPU Z. We have around 60 degrees on the board, but that's probably due to overclocking that we haven't really input right now. And then the board power is 117 watts with the GPU chip power draw at around 70 watts. So we're going to take these figures and we're going to input them into a calculator. As we can see here, if we just check here, Ironfish 20.06 mega hash. We have the watts split out evenly between it, just so we can see what's pulling the most watts for profitability. And then if we look over here, we have gram at 2.2 giga hash and 58 watts again. So this gives us a power cost of 14 cents on each one. And obviously, as you can see here, Gram is also taking the most profitability from it. So Ironfish is not as profitable, but obviously with the new fish hash algorithm, it works very well with the Ironfish and Gram algorithms. When we look here, Gram algorithm is 2.2 giga hash on its own, pulling 62 watts, and Ironfish on its own, if we scroll down here, is 22.36 mega hash at 68 watts. So basically, when we're looking at these two coins, we're not actually losing that much hash rate for both of them. We're losing around three mega hash here, and gram is actually staying pretty much the same as what it would be mining on its own. So it might be to do with these algorithms merging well together. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's both because they're opposing algorithms, as in memory and call algorithms. So basically, nothing is lost. But overall, we had a profitability of 39 cents on a... 4060 and a revenue of 66 cents so it definitely will be higher for a lot of these higher end gpus you know like the 4090 4080 3090 ti and a lot more that we see in this list up here so for the 4090 we can make around one dollar 44 in profitability and then as you go down pretty much everything else is profitable i don't really know when we hit unprofitable ranges but it's very very far down Let's just say here at the RX 5500 XT, the 20 series is still profitable, I believe. There are some that are profitable on Gram, but not Ironfish and Gram, as you can see there. So they're not including the dual mineable pair. 
But when we come back to profitability, I'd say that this is actually pretty good profitability that we're seeing. This is without overclocks, remember, so we might even need to dial the overclocks in, get some of the power draw down, and then get some of the hash rate up as well. As long as you can reduce power or increase hash rate, then you should be fine and squeeze out a bit more profitability from this dual mineable pair. Now, Graham has actually done very well in the cryptocurrency market in terms of mining, even though for the price, it's actually down around 40% in the week this is because of the drop off that we had in the crypto market around 12 hours ago but this will be probably a day later when this is uploaded but for the most part it's actually still producing profits even at these lower ranges that it's dropped to iron fish has actually come up around five percent within the day so it's actually increased the profitability and that's probably why we're seeing this dual mineable pair being so successful now there are other things that you can merge it with as it says there this is actually just changed to iron fish and pyrin so there are a bunch of coins, as we said, in this law miner update that we can actually dual mine with. I might also stick it on a lithium, see how the hash rates work out on that. We know obviously before the FPGA switchover for fish hash, we had a lithium and iron fish dual mining. And then we had, I believe, a lithium and radiant dual mining at one point. But you can add it into any of these. So a lithium and iron fish, Carlson, Pyrin, basically the same algorithm to iron fish. Radian and Gram, I believe you might get similar hash rates because they're based on the same algorithm, but I think Radian will pull a bit more power than Gram coin will. As I said, if you are getting stuck, come back to this video. The main thing you want to make sure is that it says Ton instead of Gram, so that's the dual mining mode, just because Ton is under the same umbrella. And then you want to make sure that you have this Ton mode 6 enabled in LOL Miner. Obviously you can add overclocks at the end, but make sure that this is in there, otherwise it won't work for lol miner. Also for those using ice mining, you want to include the stratum plus TCP. I know back here, if you look on hero miners, it doesn't include that, but for this you need to include it, otherwise it won't actually connect to the mining pool or to the port. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and you got mining this. Let me know what your profits are in the comments below and make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.